This is Rob here, and today we're going to talk about uh, using some ifs when VLOOKUP is not working in Excel. Let me share my screen here. We'll get started. Okay, this is some real live data. What I'm trying to do is look up the, the job control number, the JCN in this column. I'm trying to look it up in this information over here. In the uh, columns A through H, I have, uh, there's 426 records. Whereas the uh, information I downloaded from their budget program, there's actually uh, 31,000 records. So the information on the left is a subset of the information on the right, and I want to look up the job control number in the information on the right and get the uh, cost figure. Traditionally, I used to use uh, VLOOKUP, and the VLOOKUP formula equals VLOOKUP. Uh, left per in, and then the value I want to look up. Well, I want to look up the job control number, so I select that cell, comma. And then the table array, I want to look it up in columns J through N, comma. And the column index number, that's the uh, column based on where you start. So this is one, two, three, four, five. So it'd be column five, comma, and then faults for an exact match. And then right per in, enter and I get not applicable. To repeat the V lookup formula, it's V lookup, lookup value, table array, column index number, and range lookup. Let's go through these one by one. Lookup value, that's what you want to look up. In my case, I want to look up the job control number in cell B2. Table array, that's where you want to look up the information. In my case, it's in the table array column J through column N, and column index number. This is the column where the information is located in relation to what was looked up. So this is column N, and since it's table J, column J through column N, J is column one, K is column two, L3, M4, and N5. So column index number is five. And finally, range lookup. True would go here if you're looking up a number, and false would go here if you're looking up text. But in my case, neither one worked. They both returned non-applicable, N-A. And for the life of me, I can't figure out why it's returning non-applicable, because if I look up this number, the 2314.99 over here, you can see that for that job control number, the cost that it should return is 5,000, whereas it's returning non-applicable. Using the sum ifs, it's typically used to add uh, numbers based on search criteria. But what I want to do is I want to sum if, well, I want to sum, I mean, I'm using it in a little bit different way in this example. I want to sum a number in this column and my criteria is the number in this column is equal to my job control number. Right per in. And sure enough, it returned the, the 5,000 figure that we're looking at. Well, let's review that formula one more time. Okay, sum ifs, we tell it what we want to sum. I want to sum a number in this column. I can sum the entire column if I gave parameters, say, say for all the columns that have ATCT here. You could say I want to sum that column per in when this column per in contains ATCT. And using sum ifs there, I'm summing column N when column K contains the text ATCT. So, you know, 680 million. Whereas 
I just want to look up one number. So I want to sum column N when column J contains my particular job control number, right bracket, and there's my 5,000. And then I can simply drag this down as far as I want to go. And for every instance where my job control number appears in column N, it will return that figure. To repeat the sum ifs formula, it's equal sum ifs, and we identify what we're going to sum, sum range, and then we have the criteria, the criteria one range, and then what criteria one is. I know it's a little confusing, but once you do it a couple times, it's pretty easy. So in our case, we want to the sum range, we want to add up everything in column N, and our criteria is when column J contains our job control number, which is in cell B2. So trust me, you try it a few times, it gets pretty easy. And then you can repeat uh, and add additional criteria. For example, if we want to add also some column N, where column K contains ATCT, it would look like that. And if we wanted to add additional criteria to add everything in column N, where column K contains TOWB, we could do that. This sum ifs formula comes in real handy. I have a, a tax program where I track my uh, check register and credit card expenditures and everything that's taxable, I have it identified. And then I have another sheet that just sums up everything identified as taxable. Pretty powerful program. Trust me, try it, you will like it. To review more of my videos, click here. To be notified when I release a new video, click here to subscribe to my channel.